Rumor has it upcoming iPhone models will make the switch from Lightning to USB-C charging. This is a big deal because Apple hasn't switched up the iPhone's charging port since 2012. That's back when the iPhone 5 made the move from the 30-pin connector, which was first introduced on the iPod, to the Lightning system. There are a lot of perks that could come from iPhone switching to USB-C, so let's break them down. Now, Apple's making this switch not necessarily because it wants to, but because it has to. The European Union adopted a law requiring all phones to be compatible with USB-C chargers. This could have a lot of benefits for users. Notably, USB-C offers much faster charging and data speeds. For example, with more recent iPhone models, you can get the battery up to 50% in around 30 minutes using a Lightning to USB-C cable, according to Apple. Meanwhile, you can get almost a full charge with phones from companies like OnePlus or Motorola in that same time span. Reports say Apple could bump up wired fast charging to 35 watts in some iPhone 15 models. Right now, Apple recommends charging the iPhone 14 lineup with a minimum 20 watt adapter. USB-C can also support data transfer speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. Lightning only supports up to 480 megabits per second. For those of us immersed in the Apple ecosystem, having one universal charger will make things a lot easier and less messy. Other Apple devices like MacBooks and most iPads already use USB-C charging, so it makes sense for iPhones to do the same. And when you're out and about, I'm sure those Android users you spent the last several years bullying would be happy to share their chargers with you too. Which brings up another perk. Unlike Lightning, USB-C isn't proprietary for Apple. Several other electronics makers also use USB-C, meaning chances are you might already have a USB-C cable lying around. And if not, they should be easier to find than Lightning cables because they're so commonplace. Now, Apple has a way of making people buy its own products and accessories. It's been running the Made for iPhone certification program for years. This is how outside manufacturers who want to tap into Apple's user base can get that official stamp of approval on products like chargers or MagSafe-friendly cases. Now the question is, with the switch to USB-C, will Apple have a similar program to distinguish certain USB-C chargers above others? That could mean Apple potentially limits the iPhone 15 to only have faster charging or data speeds with accessories that are part of its ecosystem. Hopefully this isn't the case though, because the whole point of the EU's law is to make it easier for people to use any charger on any small device. Also, MacBooks and iPads have had USB-C for years and Apple hasn't implemented a charger certification program with those products. All these questions and speculations should be cleared up soon when Apple likely announces the iPhone 15 lineup during its event on September 12th. There may be other surprises too. Reports suggest Apple could also announce updated AirPods with the USB-C charging case. So we'll see if the updated iPhone ends up sharing the spotlight. In the meantime, stay tuned into CNET's coverage before, during, and after the event for all the latest Apple news and product reviews. Thanks for watching.